Yes, it's a very big day for us girls. After I pick up Emma from school, we're gonna go to lunch and then get her nails done. Oh, and then I was thinking it's time to stop by the toy store to see what she wants for Christmas because, you know, we don't know. She might still be obsessed with baby dolls. <laughs> Or maybe she will revert back to all things princess like she did last year. Hopefully not. Personally, I wish she was into trains. That would be cool. Why did you put me on the afternoon rotation when I... Dr. Megan Gross Park to the door. It wasn't you. It was Monica. Sorry. It's okay. Actually, Lisa continued to screw with us from the grave. Matt. Hey. Hey? That's, that's all you have? Where the hell you been? I'd like to know the answer to that myself. But first, we're going to revisit a murder. I checked the schedule. You're all free for the next few hours. Free to do what? I think you'll all fit in my car. It's a short ride. What if I said I didn't want to go with you? I'd advise against that. What if I did? You'd be coming with me in handcuffs. I think it's better you just go along with this one. Yeah, that's good advice. In fact, you know, I was within two hours of putting out an APB on you. Yeah, well, I'm here now. Right, Mac? I don't understand. We've already answered every question you have about that night. There's still a murder to be solved. Unless one of you want to confess right now. Save us the trouble. Look, Mac, we're all, uh, we're pretty busy around here. I think you'd want to be anxious to clear your name. Well, we are. I mean, of course we are. Good. All right, then I'll get the car. All right, well, I have to call the babysitter and make sure she can... You can do it on the way, Robin. It's just easier if I meet you at the station. We're not going to the station. Our divers got lucky. Although the killer wasn't very creative in get, trying to get rid of it, it was found at the bottom, right where the boat had been anchored. Yeah, is the car is on the water. That's right, on the boat. Oh. Look, as you all know, we look for three elements of a crime. Ooh, uh, uh, motive means enough. Put your hand out, Spinelli. That's right. The wrench was the means. Forensics made a positive match with the blow that killed Lisa. The murder weapon was in a toolbox readily available to anyone on the boat. So the opportunity could have presented itself to any one of you including those of you trolling the waters. So that leaves motive. You all had reason why Lisa and I was gone. Oh, really, Detective? Thank you for that revelation. Don't we'll mention it. Robin, this is the, uh, the watch you wore the night of the murder, right? Yeah, it was broken in the str struggle with Lisa. And what does that have to do with anything? The hands were frozen at 949, which gives us a bit of an indication of when Lisa was killed. And as per the statements, Robin was the last person to see Lisa alive. Actually, Detective, you have that wrong. Is there something you want to say, Patrick? You don't have to say anything. The last person to see Lisa alive was the killer. That's not Robin. You sure about that, Dr. Yeah, Dre? I'm sure about that, Detective. My wife's innocent. Well, Dr. Niles tried to kill your wife many times, right? I mean, Robin just admitted right now to uh, fighting with her night of the murder. Dr. Robin? Unlikely, she's a mother and a gentle soul if ever there was one. Still, when one's under attack, love and remorse in equal measure could drive a man to a desperate act. Sounds like you've got your man. Are we done here? You know, we checked with the coma facility. You had power of attorney over Lisa. She was alone in that hospital. I'm a humanitarian. You authorized the treatment that brought her out of the coma. So why would I give her a tune-up with a wrench? Maybe you had an arrangement with her and something went wrong. Maybe the monster turned on her creator and he had to put her down. When's it my turn? How about right now? John, you had a you had a relationship with Lisa, yeah? Yeah, it wouldn't be the first relationship I've had. Yeah. So maybe you helped her get on that boat that night. I don't know what you're talking about. Or maybe you knew what she was going to do, and you tried to stop her. Unable to save Lisa, he was forced to stop her. The ways of mayhem are well known to Johnny. Would he be this careless? Dr. Webber. Thought you'd never get to me. You uh, used to date Lisa Niles, right? We had a brief relationship back when I thought she was sane. Now, were you upset with her for using you, or more upset with yourself for not seeing what she was capable of? And I'm wondering how you got those scratches on your face the night of the murder. The investigators would know if they found Steve's DNA under Lisa's fingernails, but they weren't sane. All right, that brings me to Dr. Weber's girlfriend, Olivia. Come on, you, you couldn't have liked the fact that Steve always used to dance with Niles. <laughs> you know what, Ron? Steve's past doesn't concern me. Well, I've seen jealousy make people act out in ways they didn't think was possible. Could such a great hatred fit in so small a package? Dr. Hunter, detective, where, where have you been? I haven't seen you around lately. Oh, did you miss me, buddy? Yeah. Feelings not mutual. Okay, I heard that you were under the influence that night. Drunk as a skunk. And pretty angry? Like you wanted to hurt somebody? 
Maybe you thought Lisa Niles would be a, a decent target. Dare I hope to eliminate a rival for her hand? No, Matt's not a mean or violent drunk. Well, there's a ringing endorsement. What about you, princess? Me? Mac? You were there that night. Yeah, you had access to the grind. Lisa shot the guy you almost married. Uh, uh, cease and desist. Maximista is, is blameless. That's enough out of you, Spinelli. Listen, Lisa shot you, turned your life upside down. Yeah, the jackal is, is trying to... I don't want to hear about the jackal. All right? You're just as much a suspect as anyone. Sit down. Uh, Spinelli didn't do it. He couldn't have. Well, it sounds like you know who did. You you guys have proven your point, okay? We all wanted Lisa dead. But it doesn't really matter because you have no evidence as to who actually killed her, do you? Actually, that's not entirely true. we able to uh, lift fingerprints, including yours, Steve. Oh, yeah. We told you we were working on the engine, Dante. The lab also detected traces of dye. From a leather shoe. Those of you who provided us with the clothes you were wearing the night of the murder gave us additional information. Robin, a strand of your hair was found on that wrench. Well, we thought. I'm sure my hair came off on her. Matt, there were traces of bar sugar on the soles of your shoes. The same sugar that was found near the deck area where Lisa fell into the water. Yes, because I was all over the boat looking for Elizabeth. We also found uh, hair from Dr. Niles on your uniform. The woman knocked me out and took my clothes. I was unconscious the whole time. I'm sure the late Captain McLeod would have been very appreciative of your cooperation. It's obvious you were fond of him. Yes. You know, this is all really interesting, but if you had anything conclusive, you'd be making arrests right now and instead you, of playing... If you oh. hadn't told... Where have you been the last few days, all right? You haven't answered that question. It's not relevant. Just tell them where you were. I don't have to do that. God, what is wrong with you after everything that I've done for you? What have you done? I just mean, I, I, I just, I told everybody that you weren't going to run away because why would you? I mean, innocent people don't run away and innocent people stay home with their girlfriend. Okay, all right, we get it, we get it. God, Matt is no killer. I mean, I couldn't be in love with him oh, if he was. Enough! Got something to ask, Spinelli? Look, I, I don't intend to tell you officers how to do your job. Then don't. It, it, it's just, I'd like to point out that an investigation so wide and diverse only causes to stoke confusion. Meaning what? Meaning you should start eliminating suspects. Starting with Maximista. She has a heart as big as the moon. And she loves life like no one else I know. I'm sure Lisa Niles loves life too. Just Maximista is not a killer. I mean, has anybody forgotten that there are professional killers on board? I, I mean, I'm definitely not saying that they could do it. I, you, what about Robin? She has motive. Are you kidding me right now, Maxie? If that's the case, why don't we talk about people who have no problem stepping on anybody to get further oh, in this world? And now you're going to throw Max under the bus because you just we all know about your wife. Don't, don't get into it. No, actually, I want to get into it because I'm annoyed and I want to find out who killed her just as much as anybody else in here. I didn't realize how charged with violence this room is. All these fine-looking people with so many dark secrets. Hey, 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 you know what, orange jumpsuit? Why don't you stop trying to deflect the guilt? You know, I've been to the neighborhood you grew up in, cuts. Yeah. What the hell are you suggesting? You all claim John and I are the ones who do violence. Are the ones with the capacity to kill? It's in all of you! I see it! Look at all of you checking each other out. Each wondering if they're sitting next to a killer. Can you shut him up? Can I hear more about the scratches on your face? Indeed, they imply a violent confrontation. We shouldn't be attacking each other. That's what Lisa wanted. She wanted to terrorize almost every single person in this room. Well, let's be honest. Lisa was fixated on you and Patrick, which may help to establish motive, but it yeah, still maybe doesn't Maybe that's mean true, but she took a lot of us hostage here, and let's not forget, she shot Spinelli point blank, which gives wait, him motive wait, also. I'm not quite sure yeah, what you're... Don't pin this on Spinelli. I mean, he couldn't hurt a fly. You know what? His best friend and employer is a mob enforcer. And no, just thank because you all very much for coming. Um, we have cars waiting for you outside. That's it? We can go home? We'll be making an arrest as soon as we analyze one final bit of evidence. What evidence? Someone left something on this boat. So, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Come on, let's go. I need to go get Emma. Yeah, that was fun. Let's never do that again. Look, we need to find a place to talk, okay? I need you to explain what you've been up to. You have no idea what I've done. I'm sorry. Oh, clearly, okay. Next week, Steph? Spinelli, just don't. 
I was just going to offer my assistance to escort you back to the office. Oh, thanks. There was no other way to do this. Go down this way. You know what? I'm not done talking to you about Lulu yet. Good to go. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Mac, would you mind if we stop for lunch on the way? Desperate police work always leaves me hungry. You mind if I request a ride home from you? You're on your own, buddy. <laughs> Maybe next time. Am I done? Thank you for coming, Officer Briggs. Nothing like interrogating your own family. No kidding. This was a big, fat waste of time. Not necessarily. Huh? The play's the thing. Shakespeare. It's not helping. No, we gather everyone together, see how they react, let all their cages. Oh, they were rattled all right. Did you see them go after each other? Well, yeah, they started to crumble. They got all nervous. Did you see their faces when the commissioner brought up the new evidence? That was actually a good idea, Padilla. Wait, wait, that was your idea? Don't sound so surprised. Well, I was surprised. I mean, it probably won't happen again. Now we got to make sure that uh, textile fiber we found pays off. Unless one of them rolls over first. You trying to get yourself... <clears throat> are we, um... Are we fighting? No, of course not. I'm sorry that I snapped at you earlier. It's, it's my fault. You're not responsible for the way Mac does his job. I just wish that you could see it from his perspective. You know, he has to remain impartial and not show any kind of favoritism or he'll be forced to resign from the case. That way he can protect us. You know, he has to hammer us just as much as any of the other suspects. Cruel to be kind? Something like that. Anyway, I know that my Uncle Mac loves me. And if he's doing something that I can't quite understand or explain, I know it's for my own good. Do you think Emma's going to be like that when we make unfathomable decisions that she's not going to like? <laughs> She'll resent you, for sure. I mean, I was a complete brat to Uncle Mac when I was a teenager. Really? Yes. But in the end, she will know that it's her own good. Okay, but you made it sound like I'm going to be doing this alone, and that's not going to happen. If she's going to resent us, she's going to resent both of us. You can't set me up to be the fall guy, and you're just the nice icing on the cake. Oh, come on. Who, who is Mr. Nice Guy making Emma pancakes four nights in a row for dinner? No, it's no harm done. Why can't you just change up the recipe a little bit? Uncle Mac used to make the best cinnamon pancakes. <laughs> Maybe we can invite him over and show us how to do it. Yeah, well, is that before or after he finds his last piece of evidence, which, I don't know. I think he's bluffing. I just think he's trying to get a confession out of somebody. Yeah. I don't know. I just want this whole thing to be over. Yeah, well, that makes two of us.